bring in Elena Rusk and I vote for clearing skies. Uh, for a little bit, yeah. Oh. Today we still have some passing clouds, so there are some spotty showers this afternoon. You'll see more sunshine through those clouds. Some mild temperatures, good air quality. We're down below average. And then this baby starts moving on shore. We have a low that is driving an atmospheric river, a strong feed of tropical moisture straight toward Kern County tomorrow. So for today, it's those passing clouds. You will get some clearing skies this afternoon, and you see that here in the future cast. But then watch this fire hose of moisture, as the National Weather Service calls it, taking direct aim at Kern County Tuesday in to Wednesday, lingering showers Thursday, and then there's a secondary system that drops down with more rain and colder air late Thursday into Friday. So for the first storm, this atmospheric river, you're just going to see that today we have to wait with the passing clouds, and then tomorrow we get increasing cloud cover. We're going to see some showers in the region for the first half of the day. A good soaking rain arrives here in Kern County in the early afternoon hours and continues overnight late Tuesday into Wednesday with some fast, dry easterly winds causing a little bit of evaporation here on the valley floor. Floor, but basically it just leaves us blustery and we are very wet through Tuesday night. At times that area of orange is a heavy soaking rain that's hard to even drive through. Now heading into Wednesday morning, you're going to see that we just have some scattered showers left for the rest of the day, but this is a lot of moisture heading our way and relatively warm air coming on shore with it. So that could spawn thunderstorms in this front. When we talk about all of Tuesday and Wednesday's moisture together, it's possibly an inch or more here on the valley floor. Again, we're fighting that evaporation rate, but this is a soaking for or the valley up into the mountains. We're talking about an inch or two possible. Some of the higher elevations could be seeing three to five inches of rain out of this. Obviously, that would lead to flooding. We have the threat of mudslides, debris flows and other issues, and that's just Tuesday into Wednesday. Look at how the temperatures warm up with this tropical air. And then there's that colder system coming in. I mentioned Thursday into Friday, so a big drop in temperatures 56 by Friday as we're temporarily drying out low 60s this weekend and then take a quick look ahead. Another chance of rain heading into early next week, but I won't talk about that one yet because all eyes are on this system. Tuesday into Wednesday, a soaking for the Kern River Valley. You see by Thursday into Friday, that snow level is falling, not down to lake level, but hopefully this means stacking snow for all to see our early Friday. Hopefully that also means that they can be open heading into the weekend. For Isabella, you're going to see some 50s in that region Saturday and Sunday. To actually be a soaking rain Tuesday and Wednesday, and then rain Thursday tries to turn to snow early Friday. Look at that overnight low right at the freezing mark. Fraser Park and the Grapevine have a better chance of snow early Friday, but then look at those highs returning to the 40s that afternoon. That means whatever we get Friday morning should be melting away that afternoon just in time for you to head out for the weekend.